Express presents this program in color. Gorgeous day in New York City, and good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, May 16th. I'm Russ Mitchell. And I'm Susan Molinari. Coming up, we're going to take a look back at Frank Sinatra's life and career. We're going to talk to those who knew him well, and we're going to see some rare footage of old Blue Eyes having a good time. Also ahead, we'll tell you how to get the best deal on a new car, and does your behavior help or hurt your kids when they play sports? We will have advice for parents on the sidelines. Plus, Godzilla, the world's most famous giant lizard, will be stomping into your local theater soon. But how much do you know about the 44-year-old movie monster? Well, our team of experts are going to be here to test your knowledge. Da -da 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 -da. Hi, I'm Tom Servo. And I'm Crow T. Robot. And I'm Mike Nelson. We're from Mystery Science Theater 3000. Uh, do you know your Godzilla trivia, folks? No, you probably don't, you lunkhead. So test your monster movie know-how with us coming up. Wow, a lot of anger. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you lunkheads, all that and more coming up. Sit back and relax. It's Saturday morning. Here's a historical look at how size matters in the movie business. It's definitely a growth industry. In the very first Godzilla movie back in 1954, the monster was supposed to be 164 feet tall and weigh 22,000 tons. In 1984, Godzilla grew to 262 feet and 55,000 tons. And by 1995, Godzilla towered at 328 feet and tipped the scales at a hefty 66,000 tons. As we told you earlier, a big-budget Hollywood version of Godzilla opens nationwide on Wednesday. This time around, the big guy passes up Tokyo in favor of New York, as a group of kids and their teacher discover during a field trip to the Natural History Museum. One of the largest predators who ever lived on our planet. This Godzilla movie is, of course, only the latest in more than 25 Godzilla movies going back to 1954. To discuss this great B-movie legacy, we needed some genuine experts. And who better than the stars of Mystery Science Theater 3000? Mm. Joining us today, Crow T. Robot. Howdy, Mark. Howdy, Tom Servo. Morning, Flip. Uh, Willard. <laughs> <laughs> and their faithful sidekick, Mike Nelson. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. 44 <laughs> years of Godzilla sidekick. movies, over 25 movies. What do you relate this international phenomenon? To. Uh, it's got to be drugs, I would guess. I, I'm not sure. Rubber. People's now, inherent love of cuddly lizards. That's right. <laughs> in the first Godzilla movie, we're talking about a man in a Godzilla suit, a rubber suit, right? That's right. Yes, indeed. Oh, Big difference in technology with today's Godzilla movie? It was a 220-pound suit, Mark. Can yeah, you imagine? today it's 220-pound computers making the suit, so it's <laughs> a little bit different. Actually, wearing a Godzilla suit, what kind of temperatures you get inside those suits? I reckon about 120 degrees. It's about what Mike gets inside his jumpsuit. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a, a suit at home for, you know, my own personal shenanigans. Let's not get into it. No, it's really very warm. Not. The inside of your mouth is 120 Jeez. degrees, I believe. I, it needs to be much, much cooler, I feel. Absolutely. What about the difference in cost between the two movies? Uh, the first one cost, as I understand, a million dollars. Yeah, and they made two million dollars, and they were really happy about that. Yeah, back in those days, they didn't like money as much. No. Now, a uh, hundred and forty million dollars for the new one. So. so if they make two million dollars on this, they won't be quite as happy as they were. No. no, people will be jumping out of buildings. Now, I understand we have a Godzilla trivia game to be playing. <laughs> yes, we do, my we friend. We are putting you to the test, <laughs> Mr. Local Weatherman. Uh, here's a question for you. I don't think you're going to get this one. What American starred in the first Godzilla movie? The first Godzilla movie in 1954. That's right. I have no idea. That would be Raymond Burr. Ah. Most of the million dollar budget went to the Raymond Burr buffet. We have a picture of <laughs> And I always thought it was Aaron Burr. Boy, was I wrong. Where's his no. wheelchair? This movie know. actually featured bombed out buildings from World War II, so that's kind of how the whole thing started. Was that sort of a sentimental journey for them. <laughs> <Yes. so. laughs> All right, what's next? More trivia to come. Number two, Crow. Crow. Take it away, Crow. Okay, then I'll take it away. Uh, what was the first colored Godzilla movie from 1962 that pitted Godzilla against another world famous super monster? But, come on, Dr. Frank. Bling. You got it. Bling. Godzilla vs. Mothra. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, no, you're wrong. Sack. King Kong versus Godzilla. Both King Kong and Godzilla are guys wearing costumes. And King Kong's costume really catches fire in the movie. First Godzilla costume weighed 220 pounds and would get up to 120 degrees in sun. 
All right, there must be some trivia question that I that I would know about Godzilla. Okay, well, let's, let's try this. Try okay. this next one. Uh, the movie Godzilla on Monster Island, okay? Do, 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 now, how does Godzilla do, 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 let his other monster buddies know do, 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 that they're in trouble? Do, do, do. He bellows out to them. Well, close. I mean, he does talk to them for the first wow, time in any of these Japanese movies. This is a talking Godzilla. This They're is pretty good. good. So you talk to them. It's very strange. The Japanese put balloons over the uh, monsters in their movies, but uh, the American version, they talk. Now, take a listen to this lovely voice. Those <laughs> Berlitz course is paying off for Godzilla. Sound a little like Ted Knight. <laughs> Hi, Mayor. Hello, Mayor. What is he saying there? Uh, uh, I don't know. Something. Anybody's guess. I have no idea. I haven't crushed that. someone in days. That's right. I'm really angry. Okay, last question. Last question right. for you. Fire this, this is the tester. You're failing so far. In Godzilla versus the Smog Monster, what way of getting around does Godzilla use in the film to fight the other monsters? Uh, does he fly? You well, are correct. That's the monkey at the typewriter theory. You know, <laughs> yeah. gotta get one right. Yes, he does. He flies. Uh, let's take a look at this clip. Wow, it's the bomb and Mark McGuire head. <laughs> They're coming right for us. Oh, he belched and suddenly he finds himself flying. <laughs> Bad breath. from here to Right, turn it on. Right. 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 The is is right. that right? Well, oh, the first nuclear-powered karaoke machine. <laughs> mm. yep. oh, tell Gorgo. I love him. Ah. Well, it is quite obvious the three of you have seen a lot of Godzilla movies. What do you suppose okay, is your favorite out of all of them? Uh, Godzilla versus Shelley Winters for me. A lot of action <laughs> oh, in that one. I like Godzilla versus Madeline Albright myself. <laughs> yeah, she Wait. wins. Godzilla, Godzilla versus Tom Arnold, always a perennial <laughs> favorite for me. Tom Arnold, the most hideous monster ever to hit the movie. All right, we have all the Godzilla information we need to know, and Mystery Science Theater 3000 is featured Saturday nights on the Sci-Fi Channel. Woo! <laughs> Starting May 26, you can watch a week-long Godzilla movies fest on the Sci-Fi Channel. It's time now for some local stations to take a break, but for the rest of you, we'll be right back. Robots for Mystery Science Theater 3000 and their humans have agreed to hang around for a couple of minutes. Mike Nelson, Crow T Robot, and his pal Bill Corbett, and Tom Servo with Kevin Murphy. Howdy. And you gentlemen as well, you write, direct, and produce the show Mystery Science Theater 3000, otherwise known as MST3K. Yeah, very good. We you do it all. That's we even I cater think. our own lunches. I do That's craft it. services. <laughs> and of course, we're talking about Godzilla. What are the origins of the original Godzilla movie back in 1954? Well, it started after the war, and uh, obviously 1954 is after the war. Um, but they used some of the, the bombed-out buildings from the war, and, and I think it was sort of an effort to, to uh, I don't know, purge their guilt or whatever. It's, it's a weird phenomenon. Were there problems with the guys in the Godzilla suits crushing the actual sets they were working on? <laughs> I know a couple of them. There was one fellow who uh, they were worried about him drowning in the suit, and they actually got him an air hose so that he could breathe while... Uh, it was his own perspiration, sadly enough. I think that was the problem. Well, let's talk about your show for a moment. You've been on the air for close to nine years now, almost as long as Seinfeld length has been on television. How are the robots handling the fame and fortune that's come with the show? <laughs> They're feeling old. They want to retire to a condo in Long Beach. Big head. His head used to be about this big, and I now think, it's big. I think the thing is just not to get famous, which is what we've done. We're always under radar, so yeah. we're durable because we're so not successful. We were on the, li we were on the lifestyles of the middling and obscure. Yeah. <laughs> of course, now you spend the show reviewing and going over movies. Mm -hmm. uh, how many movies have you gone over in the nine years on air? Wow. Ooh, uh, 150? We've had better than 150 it? shows, but that means we've seen probably Fantastic. about 20 films for each, uh, for each show, so there's about 3,000 films we've looked at. Thank you, gentlemen, for the Godzilla information. We'll be right back. The address is CBS. Welcome home.